So you just got your brand new Sony ZV-E10. You gotta take your first photo and... Look, I've been there and I've got your back with these five tips. Number one, we've got to nail the focus. Okay, so first off, I've actually mapped my focus setting to be in my function menu to access it faster. Function menu here is in tab two and we're on page eight. Function menu set, you can go in here. It's gonna be different when you first take your camera out of box, but you can click on anything here and you can scroll through and set it to something different. I have this box here, it doesn't matter which box you put it in, but I have this set for focus area. Let's look at that in the actual camera interface here. I click on my function menu and we can see that focus focus area here. I'm gonna select that. Typically out of box, the camera is gonna come in this focus area wide. I don't think that's the best option for photography. I really like this expandable or flexible spot. I'm gonna select that. I can now move this around, select my subject, whatever I wanna take a shot of, click the center button on the back wheel here of the camera, lock that in and fire away. You're gonna have a lot more accurate focus when you do it this way. This is a good point to mention that if you have any questions on that at all or any of the future tips we have coming up, you can drop those in the comments down below. Number two, exposure is key. I've made the rookie mistake of trying to use the back of the LCD screen when I'm taking a photo to see if it looks bright enough or if it looks too dark. There is certainly a better method. I prefer using a method called zebras to get proper exposure. I'll show you the steps here in just a second, but I also have a full detailed video on my channel about exactly how I use zebras and I'll link that at the very end of this video. But in the ZV-E10, here's how to access zebras. I'm still on tab two here and on page eight, I'm gonna go to this custom key for photos. I'm gonna click on that and now I can actually take anything that's highlighted here is the button that correlates. I can take anything here, I can click on it and I can select whatever I want to custom map that button to. You can see here for my button two and three and you can just completely copy these. I have button two and three, which is number two is hitting the center button on my wheel and number three is hitting the left dial. Zebra display select allows me to turn zebras on and then when I hit left, it brings up my actual zebra value when the zebras actually start to show up on a subject. So I'm gonna make my selection and then I'm simply just going to be changing either my aperture or my shutter speed or changing my ISO. One of those three things, I'm gonna be changing that to get proper exposures when zebras are gonna start to show up. Again, way more detail to that than what was covered there, but that's how you turn them on. And again, check that video out at the very end. Number three, get used to manual mode. When I go into the menu here, I'm gonna go to tab one and on page three, I can select this option. Now here's gonna give me the ability, the camera's gonna come default in this intelligent auto mode. And this mode can be really good when you're just starting out. The camera's gonna do all the work for you to get proper exposure. However, sometimes the decisions that it has to make will produce unsharp images or make your images too bright or too dark at times. And there's certainly a better way to do that through manual. Manual, which is down here, I'm gonna select manual here. Manual is certainly more intimidating, but I can tell you if you wanna get really good and get the most out of this camera's photography capabilities, you're gonna have to start to get used to manual mode. Once I select manual mode, that's gonna give me complete control over my shutter speed and my aperture and my ISO. Next week, I'm doing a full settings run through for the Sony Z. ZV-E10, which those videos are daunting to make, but I think I've got some hacks that are gonna help you out a lot. So subscribe down below if you wanna see that as soon as it drops. Number four, RAW over JPEG. Shooting RAW, the files will be a little bit bigger, not much, but they're gonna give you a tremendous amount more of flexibility when it comes to editing the photos in post, something like Lightroom or whatever it is that you're using. The image is gonna have a lot more data, which is gonna allow you to push the colors further, or maybe you slightly missed exposure, you can bring that exposure back in post without having the image look too crazy. When you shoot in JPEG, trying to do that, it's still possible, but you don't have nearly as much flexibility as you do in RAW. How to access RAW, you're gonna go to your menu and on tab one, page one, file format, we're gonna switch this to RAW. Number five, white balance and creative looks. Jumping in the menu, we are on tab one, page eight. We see these white balance options. First thing you wanna have here, make sure you have auto white balance selected. And then next, priority set in auto white balance. These different options are gonna change slightly how the camera is handling color. I found for Sony cameras that making it, instead of using what it comes out of the box of auto white balance standard, choosing this auto white balance white, I found this provides a lot more desirable colors coming out of these Sony cameras. 
And then for all of these creative styles and picture effects and picture profiles, I'll come back to this, but creative styles and picture effects, turn these off. Standard is the same as off and picture effect is off. Just, just trust me on this one. And then for picture profile, we wanna come down and wanna turn that off completely. And if you're digging the video, let me know by giving it a tap on the thumbs up. Get out of here. And that's gonna do it. Those are the five tips that I think are gonna make the most impact when it comes to getting the best photos out of your Sony ZV E10. And as mentioned earlier, check out this video if you wanna get exceptional at nailing exposure, which is just so important. Anyways, take care. See ya.